Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ryan Swift of Glitter Grunge Greetings and I am here to present to you a festive and fun St. Patrick's Day Slimline card project I made using Tim Holtz and Ranger products. So let's get started. We are going to start off here with some of the Distress Mixed Media White Heavy Stock cardstock. This is my favorite all-purpose cardstock to use and I'm going to cut this eight and a half by eleven into two different sections one is going to be eight and a half by four and then I'm going to create another one with eight and a half by about two and a half inch uh, dimensions so as you can see I'm just using my Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer this is the little little guy that I prefer to use on my uh, tabletop kind of keep that close by at all times and as you can see we have a nice strip of paper here we're gonna use some distress inks to create a beautiful rainbow blend so I have here some picked raspberry and I am using a ranger blending tool along with the brand new domed foam applicators these things are incredible I absolutely love them I don't know where I was where my life my crafting life was without them before so uh, these will definitely revolutionize the way that you ink blend and uh, if you're having problems definitely give these a try uh, they're a staple in my craft room so I'm going in with uh, now this is salty ocean and then in the middle there I have the squeezed lemonade and as you can see we have a beautiful spectrum of the rainbow and we only needed three colors to do so so I heat set that quickly and now I'm gonna be embossing so before I emboss I am making sure I use my anti-static bag here and I'm using a this beautiful kind of um, star uh, it's a star stencil it's part of Tim Holtz's mini stencil sets and it's this flourish of stars they're all varying in size and I'm using some distress embossing ink and just a blending brush here and I'm applying some of the embossing ink right through the stencil and the brush is going to help me get into those fine details and I'm going to cover this now in some Ranger gold tinsel embossing powder uh, as you can see I have quite the stockpile of it and I keep it in a tray here along with some silica gel packets keeps things from clumping and yeah it's just easy way for me to apply embossing since I do it so often I keep it uh, I keep big amounts of it so I'm gonna use a uh, my heat tool here this is just a heat gun from Sizzix and as you can see it's just beautifully melting down all of that gorgeous embossing powder and leaving behind a beautiful shine um, I'm going to create my own my own cardstock here my own color cardstock by uh, using the ink pad to paper technique and this is very simple I'm using some twisted citron distress ink and just basically smashing it <laughs> and rubbing it against the surface of some cardstock to create my own piece of colored cardstock we're going to stamp directly on this. I am using the Tim Holtz stamping platform, and this is one of the background stamps from the Perfect Plaids stamp set. So I have this kind of locked and loaded here in my platform, in my positioner, and we are going to kind of create this beautiful kind of Irish-influenced plaid pattern, and uh, this is going to be kind of our background for the entire slimline card. So I'm just applying some Rustic Wilderness Distress Ink, and as you can see, that contrast between the Twisted Citron and the Rustic Wilderness is gorgeous. And because this stamp is not tall enough to fit entirely on my slimline card panel here, I am just shifting it upwards. And I lined it up as best as I possibly could, and there's just a little slight seam, as you can see there, from where the top and the bottom met. But you know what? We're not even going to tell once the card is done. So moving on to some other uh, parts of the card, we're using some Distress Watercolor cardstock, And then I have this Cauldron uh, Biggs die. This is a beautiful steel rule die from Sizzix and Tim Holtz. And yes, it is a cauldron, but it's going to be our pot of gold in this application so uh, the cardstock has a uh, smoother side and a rougher side and I wanted some texture on this cauldron or pot of gold and so I put the textured side downwards uh, towards the die sent that through my vagabond which is an electric die cutting machine and now to color this I'm using a distress crayon by Ranger and Tim Holtz this is the black soot 
and it goes on very creamy and beautiful and I'm just using a little bit of water there to help kind of break down the pigment and give me more of a, a full coverage opaque finish so very easy to apply don't be scared to use your fingers to add some highlights to the uh, pot of gold here I am using the antique bronze distress crayon and this is just gonna give me a little metallic highlight moving on we're gonna use some of the craft Tim Holtz uh, gold metallic cardstock and this is part of his ideology line and this stuff is beautiful it's you can call it mirror card you can call it foiled card um, it's it's just a beautiful high, high shine metallic cardstock and I'm gonna trim this down to about five and a half uh, by four and a half inches uh, just so it's a little bit bigger than the cover plate that we are going to uh, use to cut this so this is one of the new uh, cover plates it's called bubbling and this is a die that basically covers the entire uh, front front of a card and we're just gonna send this through my vagabond and it's going to cut out all these bubbles but in this case we're actually gonna use these as the little gold pieces for our pot of gold so I'm using the Sizzix weeding brush here and it's just kinda this little brush here is a really handy tool to have it helps get out all those little die cuts and there are so many little bubbles here little little round uh, pieces that uh, I definitely utilized that for our uh, characters here we're gonna be using the snarky cats and the distinguished dies I am gonna cut this out of some uh, these are the frames for the stamps I cut these out using um, cut these out through some watercolor cardstock and as you can see it's just the outline of the shapes now I do have the stamps that we're gonna stamp uh, afterwards but this is the technique I use to get perfect placement perfect stamping uh, for my die cut so I wind up cutting out the dies first then here in my platform I take the negative card panel here as you can see those holes where those uh, die cuts were cut from they are a perfect little uh, marker for where to put my stamps so the stamps kind of lock right into that negative space so I pick up the stamps with my platform door and then I replace the negative space with the positive parts of the die so hopefully it makes sense you can kinda see what's going on here uh, in the in the video here but finally here I'm going to start stamping and for the hat I'm going to use some distress oxide in rustic wilderness and then for the cat uh, the snarky cat here I'm using some archival ink and this is in uh, uh, this is in vintage photo so going to stamp those down and I'm sorry that was in ground espresso so now we have our die cuts stamped out and I'm gonna heat set those quickly just so the inks don't smear on me and then once we do that you can see I can just pop these right out and I have perfect stamped placement every single time so it's like a little uh, it's like a little key so all we, and then I can keep that on hand and use it time and time again to color my cat here I'm going to use some rusty, uh, rusty hinge distress ink and I just smushed the ink pad onto my work surface there and then using the Ranger water brush this is the detailer I just used it to apply some color to the body and the uh, eyes of the cat I'm gonna use a little bit of ground espresso distress ink here along with a blending brush just to uh, sort of ink up the edges and create a little bit more dimension and contrast and those are all set to put aside alright so now I'm gonna make my card base and I'm using the distress uh, this is the new craft card stock this is some heavy-duty stuff I love it I cut it down to eight and a half by eight and I'm going to score it here in my score buddy uh, right down the middle uh, scoring at four inches so this is gonna be a pretty big slim line uh, I think it's the biggest that a number 10 envelope will accommodate so it's gonna be a total dimension of uh, four inch by eight and a half so it gives us a lot of real estate to add a lot of fun to it so as you can see that plaid panel there I just trimmed it down slightly just to give me a nice even margin and then I'm gonna ink up the edges this is a uh, 
the the plaid I used some ground espresso and here I'm going in with some picket fence against the rainbow just to create a little bit more contrast and dimension so I'm just using some double-sided tape to adhere my layers the first layer goes down this is our plaid background here and then I'm lining up the rainbow panel here and I'm gonna keep some room on the bottom because that's where our cauldron is going to go because there's some overlap here I'm just gonna take my Tim Holtz these are the big old snips here I think they're like eight and a half or nine inches and um, just from the back end of the card I'm just cutting off that little excess strip that's kind of hanging off there and there we go so I am gonna have some overlapping there and I kinda did that intentionally to make it look like the rainbow was coming in from the top um, and uh, right into the cauldron you know the whole pot of gold at the end of the rainbow <laughs> sort of narrative all right so for all of our uh, all of our little coins here as you can see I've I put them in an envelope while I was working on other things and I pulled them out now I'm just using some liquid adhesive to basically glue down all of my coins and I love this because they're all kind of varying in size so it looks very natural and I was sort of um, what's the word I was a little challenged on how I was going to sort of uh, replicate what metal coins would look like and once I found I had this die in my stash it was like oh I had that aha moment so <laughs> I'm just going in manually and creating a big old pile of coins coming out of the pot here and then I'm gonna throw some smaller ones kind of against the side in front of the uh, in front of the pot just to create a little bit more interest and kind of ground the entire image and then uh, finally we're gonna put down our cat and as you can see the cat is gonna be placed where it looks like he's kind of falling into the pot of gold and I have it attached with a couple some foam squares and a little bit of liquid adhesive just to uh, make sure it's very secure and then I pop that green hat green top hat there right on right on his head <laughs> finally we're gonna uh, use a sentiment here and this is also from the snarky cats stamp set and this just says uh, don't judge me and I love the playful sarcastic uh, sentiments that the snarky cats are kind of known for so I just stamp that down with some uh, archival ink in some uh, black soot and I'm get basically just creating my own little sentiment strip here cutting it out and then inking up the edges just to create a little bit more dimension and then we're just going to glue that down using some liquid adhesive any kind will work pop that up in the top left corner I kinda left it at a little bit of an angle intentionally just to give it a little bit more visual interest as well and then the last final detail here is the uh, Lucky Love uh, Impresslet. And this is an awesome little embossing folder slash die. It's built, it's all in one, and I have some of the green metallic craft cardstock. I just cut that out, spritzed it with a little bit of water and uh, fabric conditioner before I sent that through my Vagabond. And now I'm just inking up the edges with a little bit of black soot archival ink from Ranger just to give it a little bit more of a vintage look and then I'm just very quickly going to apply some adhesive to the back and pop that right down in the center of my pot of gold last but certainly not least a little bit of ground espresso distress ink all along the edges of the card is going to create a nice beautiful vignette into the center of the card and here you can see the entire project uh, in all of its glory. So we have the snarky cat kind of jumping in, uh, flying in on the rainbow into his pot of gold. I love the way this card turned out. It's got a lot of color, a lot of sparkle, contrast. It's got all the things I love in a card project. And yes, there was a lot of steps and a lot of supplies, but all these techniques are so easy to use all these techniques are so easy to do and all these products are so easy to use so I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time I always say be authentic shine bright and most importantly have fun bye bye